my biggest fear was, you know, is this something I should do? Can I make a living doing this? Will I be able to live my dreams and, and, and travel and, and enjoy my life the way I'd like to by doing this? I worked for a big company, big corporation for 20 years. You're in the rat race nine to five, but you know it's, you gotta check at the end of the week or two weeks. Well, I'm 44, going on 45. Lately, my, my full-time job has been uh, getting the laundromat uh, up and running. Uh, so I've been focused on building the business. Uh, so this is what I do full-time now. I think when it comes to any kind of business venture, it's always good to find out as much as you can you know, before you get started in it. I, I just usually look on blogs or laundry forums. I think with when you check the forums, it's a mixture of both right and wrong. There are some fears, uh, at least fears that I can say that I kind of experienced myself. Fears that whether or not this is going to even work. So as you go along in, in the process and you start to look back and you say like, okay, now this makes sense, you know. Okay, now I see what Danny was saying to me I was, or what he was talking about in the DVD. It's starting, it starts to click more once you actually start to do it. It's been a while, I must admit, that since I've watched the DVD, but I do need to do some refreshers. Uh, I haven't, I can't say I've sat down and watched the whole DVD, but I would look at certain things, especially when it came to looking for my attendant, when I started looking to get me an attendant. The, the, the thing that I liked most was probably seeing you out in the field, you know, seeing you interact with uh, attendants or customers. You feel more comfortable when you see other people doing it. Free laundromat is a journey. It's not gonna be a fast journey. For some people, it, it, it is. I've heard some stories about some of your students that found the laundromat right away. Uh, I think if you just are consistent and persistent, you know, and open to uh, learning and doing things differently, you'll get your free laundromat. If I remember correctly, the, my lease was probably 60 pages. It's very important understanding a commercial lease. Uh, they can be very complicated. I know mine was very complicated. Danny's one to have on your side. Um, he's definitely a character. So yeah, Danny is very accessible. Uh, he's easy to talk to. Uh, with Danny's help in negotiating my lease, it saved me close to $1,000, if not even more. Yes, I could definitely sell this store for four or 500, maybe even 600 grand, but I'm looking to make money on the store. I'm looking to get that in return. It's, it's nice collecting cash. No, it's definitely a, a good feeling when you, when you start seeing that your store is making money. Um, I think this store has the potential of doing $25,000, $30,000 a month. This store wasn't open once when I came into the picture. There was no machines in here. The floor was in terrible shape, the walls, the ceiling, the lighting. The infrastructure was intact. Uh, the electrical was there. The plumbing service was there. I paid zero dollars for this laundromat. <laughs> Absolutely, I would definitely go through a consultation um, and a lease negotiation with Danny again. We may make another video soon, I'll say that. <laughs> Danny calls a job just over broke. <laughs> I love it. Everyone constantly emails me and asks me, how can you possibly get a laundromat for free? This is the thing. These laundromats are very real and they can make you real money. If I were sitting here and having a fireside chat with you, I would explain to you that this is how you do it. The whole process deals with this, cash money. 